welcome to another recording in the Adobe Community YouTube video series for the Cold Fusion team. I'm Charlie Earhart. I'm an independent consultant and I want to share in the next couple of minutes some information about a new document that you might not have heard about and yet I'll argue it's very important that everybody who uses Cold Fusion 10 or 9 and even some 8 uh, should know about. So here's the URL you can see in front of you. Um, it's at helpx.adobe.com, Cold Fusion KB, Important Hotfix Related Notes.html. So the title is just Important Hotfix Related Notes, and it says that it lists all the important hotfix related notes for Cold Fusion 9 and above with their respective hotfixes. Now, you know, on the surface, somebody might see that and go, yawn, I don't get what that's about, but it's very important. Let me explain why. If you were to go to the Adobe Security Bulletins, and here's the link for that, and get the hot fixes for 10 or 9 or again even back in 8 or if you were to go to get the latest updates available for uh, 10 and using the auto hot fix mechanism or here on the updates page by going to 9 and getting the updater or one of the cumulative hot fixes or if you're on 9 you went to 901 the thing is with all these various updates you're often going to be getting included in that given latest security hotfix, all the previous security hotfixes, or in a given cumulative hotfix, maybe some of or all of the previous security hotfixes, or maybe if you go apply an updater like 901 to 90, you'll be getting the latest security hotfixes that were available as of 901. And my point is, is with all of these, you're going to get all the security hotfixes that were included as of the time that thing was built. And in those various security hotfixes, there will have been some holes that were closed for security reasons to keep the bad guys out. And the problem is your code may also trip over something because a hole has been closed. And in each of the security hotfixes, there have been notes at the bottom, typically, of the tech note that has explained things like this hotfix does this and to undo it, be aware of that. Or this hotfix requires that you need this to get this feature to work. Or going way back to 2011, there was a hotfix back then which closed what was called session fixation. And that session fixation was a good thing to close, that vulnerability was a good thing to close, but some people found that after applying that hotfix, or if they haven't done any until recently, now recently they've applied a latest security hotfix or an update, and they find all of a sudden something happens like the people can't stay logged in or uh, they're seeing duplicate cookies. All kinds of things can arise related to this. Well, in this tech note back in 2011, and let me just show you the tech note from 2011, they said in it under these notes that a JVM property was added in case you want to switch off that feature. Now this is just one example I'm trying to tell you about. But the point is it was in this tech note and it told you that you needed to add this JVM session fixation protection argument and that's not the focus of the talk here today I just want you to know that's an example of something that came out in 2011 in a hotfix and if you applied no hotfixes until recently you got this and all the other ones included because they're cumulative and yet if you didn't know it you'd you'd not realize that this and all these other things were included in the hotfix that you got so here's another example some of you heard about people having trouble with form posts. All of a sudden after they apply certain hotfixes, any forms that have more than 100 fields fail. Well here's the explanation of it. It was in this tech note from 2012, but if you didn't know about it, you could have missed it. So the importance of this document is that it finally lists in one place the various little notes that were included in each of the various hotfixes. And you can see 1313 and 1226, 1225, 2106, all the way back to 1104. So this is very important. I think it's required reading for everybody to read and understand that when you apply latest hotfixes, you're getting all these things. And unless you go back and look at every tech note for the previous hotfixes, you'd miss this. So I give a thumbs up to Adobe for pulling this article together. Now you may say, well, how, I, how come I haven't heard about that? And how long has it been out? Well, it was first announced with, the, as of right, the latest tech note, uh, sorry, latest hotfix that came out a couple of weeks ago, 1313. And it was mentioned here as a note, but you could have easily missed it because it's never been in any of the other previous 
security hotfix tech notes. So it says, see this important list of notes, and it links to that page. So that's where it's talked about. I'll tell you that if you're interested in learning more about this, you want to get some more understanding. I did a blog entry on it back in uh, a couple weeks ago. New Adobe document of cold fusion security hotfixes required reading, I'd say. Yeah, so check that out. Just go to carehart.org and look for my posts for May, and you'll find it there. And um, with that, I'll say do check it out. It's very important. And uh, I give some other information there that you might find interesting. And I hope you guys benefit from this little video. Till again.